Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany for those of you who are new, so welcome. Today I'm going to be playing with some products from the Kali Cosmetics Summer Collection that she came out with. Sorry for the delay. Um, I know they came out on what, the 10th and it's now the 18th. Um, I just got them in the mail today. I wanted to share and try out a couple of these products. Not going to lie, I didn't really use the palette all that much because I really wanted to try out these uh, shimmer eye glaze. And I only got three products from the collection, just the three that interested me. Because um, I did watch some videos this time around, like Nicole Concilio. And so I picked up the Aquamama, which I am wearing on my eyes. One lipstick in the shade Endless Summer, which I'm also wearing and I have to actually have to say I really like it and then I did get the palette but like I said I don't really use the palette I use one shade so don't really count that um I will do another tutorial with this but today I just kind of really wanted to play with the eye glaze and give you guys my thoughts on that um and then I'll have some thoughts about some customer service issues I experienced so if you want to see how I applied everything what I think of everything so far then just keep watching all right, so to start, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes because I'm going to do my eyes first since I do intend to use this pretty shimmer thing that I got. Um, I don't know the actual like name of her product. I probably should look into that because this is a tutorial and I'm reviewing the collection of the pieces that I got, so... And I'm going to blend that out with the Morphe R33. By the time I get to the glitter thing, I will figure out what the name of it is because I will look it up. So we're going to the lake this weekend, so I wanted to get this video up for sure by today. Um, since I won't be able to film for a while. So this is what the palette looks like. This is her summer collection. If you guys are wondering, I know you guys know that I tend to review and use a lot of Kylie's stuff. And I did order the new Coco collection, but it's still not here. So, there's that. Um, this somehow made it to me before my order. That was like a week before this one. Um, so, yeah. But we'll talk about that at the end. So, the nice thing about this palette is there's a lot of nude shades in here. Honestly, I kind of wish there was like a darker brown, but it is really pretty. Um, I do like the shimmers, and there's like a glitter shade in here, which looks really pretty. Picked up, this is what the color looks like. It looks super pretty. It's in the shade Aqua Mama. So, I'm just going to dip my finger in. Oof. And just spread this and pat it on my eye. Alright, so I have the rest of my makeup done, including like highlight and everything. Lashes are drying as we speak. So I'm going to go ahead and just sweep this with a brush under my um, lash line. Since I do want to kind of like tightly pack it. I'm hoping for not a lot of fallout, but if there is, it's no big deal. It'll be glittery probably. So I'm going to go in and just tap some glitter. Some glitter. Mascara. I'm literally using mascara and I said glitter. I feel like my brain is mush today. Alright, so the rest of my makeup is done. Um, I did get one of the lipsticks. I got the shade... Endless Summer, that lipstick, it just looked really, really pretty. It has some, like, gold champagne reflex. I love how they smell like cupcakes. It just, like, makes my day. All right, so that is everything for this tutorial. Um, I'm actually filming my outro now after lunch because Chris messaged me. So I went ate with him for the last day of his current job and then um, his friends and stuff. So this is the finished look, even the highlight. So, um, I will have all the products linked down below that I used. Um, what else? Oh, so I'm going to talk about the customer service issues that I experienced. Um, I know her brand usually gets a bad rep. Bad rap? Is it rep or rap? I don't know. I think it's bad rap. No, it's bad rep because it's like a reputation, right? 
So I know her brand usually gets a bad rep um, because their customer service. And usually I never really understood, but after this time, I really get it. So I also, so I placed this order for these products on the 10th when they launched. So as you guys know, she had that 4th of July sale. So I placed an order on the 5th and it still had it shipped. So I messaged customer service like a week ago. Uh, maybe it wasn't a week. I don't know. It's been a while, like at least a couple days. And they basically were just like, well, you need to like send proof of your payment and things like that. And I was just like, okay. So I sent like a screenshot of it. Um, which I thought was weird because usually as soon as I email, they just like see my email and they can like see I have an account and they can look at it. So I thought that was a little odd. Um, but they were just like, oh, we just have longer processing times. But what I don't understand is why you would have a new launch but not have everything shipped out from like a previous launch or a sale, which kind of bothers me. I hate when brands do that. Um, like I get it if it's behind, but like you shouldn't be shipping out newer products and newer orders before your older ones are done, if that makes sense. Like even, I know this is happening because I had two orders and the one that was literally five days later shipped and is already here, but the other one still isn't. So it's just kind of frustrating. It makes me not want to order from her website anymore and just like kind of wait and hope and see things will come to Ulta. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm a little frustrated, so I may not be doing as many reviews over this stuff, over her products. I know you guys really like these videos, um, as do I like her products. I know people hate on her brand and stuff, like there are bad products and things that I'm just like, that's dumb, I'm not going to buy it. But, especially her skincare line, don't get me started on that. But, for the most part, I do really like her palettes and lips and things like that, so... Yeah, but that is it for this quick video. I know this is probably going to be like super short because all I did was apply like two colors on my lid and one is that shimmer. Um, I actually really like how this turned out. And I have to say I really like the lipstick. It's kind of fun and unique. It's almost metallic. It kind of reminded me of the NARS Orgasm lipstick that I really wanted, but I didn't want to pay that much for. And I know I like Kylie's formula and they smell like cupcakes, so... I really like the eye glaze um, from the videos I watched. The other ones aren't very good, so that's why I only got this one. If they were, I'd get more because these didn't have any fallout, and the tart ones always do on me. So I do really like that. Like I said, I will do a tutorial with just the palette. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe to my channel and give this video a huge thumbs up. And like I said, I'll have my links down below, which are my reward style links, so I do make a small commission. No matter what, you don't have to purchase the price if you just like shop on Ulta, but you go through all my Ulta links. And it counts, so thank you so much if you use them. Obviously, I don't have to, but again, thank you. So, yeah, that's everything, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!